This is journalism major and music minor, Anna Snow. She may not play any instruments, but she loves records. I'm Anna Snow, I'm 19 years old, and I collect records. When I started to get into older music, um, my dad kind of was like, oh, well then you need to listen to records. Mm -hmm. And I was already kind of interested in vinyl. I had um, some old records that had been my uncle's before he passed away. And my dad has a good friend who owns a record store. Um, so he was able to hook me up with the, the vintage record player I have and like a decent percentage of the records I own. Many record collectors believe that music actually sounds better coming from a record player than a regular speaker. It does sound different and like sometimes I feel a little bit like pretentious saying that because there's more to it than just the music. I feel like the way like a record sounds like with the needle and the grooves and stuff, I think it adds a layer and also you have to think about that this music from this time was like written to be played on a record. They had that in mind when they were making th this music um, so I think even if you like, I don't always listen to it on vinyl, sometimes it is easier to stream, it is easier to use my speaker and my phone, um, but I think it's nice to have the option and to do the record player. Anna has been collecting records for two years, and she's built up quite the collection. I currently have 111. <laughs> this is George Harrison's um, self-titled record from 1979. Um, it is my favorite album of his and just one of my favorite albums in general. Um, and I actually got it kind of randomly pretty early on when I was collecting records um, before I had listened to a ton of his stuff. And I got it because it was in a one dollar bin and it like almost immediately became like my most played record, like my go-to. I would put it on a lot of the times when I like paint because this is it's a pretty um, like chill record, a little more mellow. Um, and it's just so calming and so like comforting like and I've come to really love like every song on this record Like my mom would sometimes come in my room when I was living at home and she'd be like this one again You have so many records. You're always just listening to this one George Harrison. And I'd be like, it's my favorite So I did this painting um, If you can see through the back it says something else um, and I had it hanging in my room for a while and it was just kind of Boring. So I decided that instead of throwing away the canvas, I would use it to paint. So I spray painted it white and then I painted this on it. And it says, here comes the moon and here comes the sun because George Harrison wrote, here comes the sun with the Beatles for Abbey Road, which came out in 1969. And then 10 years later, he wrote, here comes the moon, which is on this album. Um, and I think it's like a really beautiful sequel. There are some similar um, kind of sounds and chords throughout. And I don't know, I think it just shows a lot of his like songwriting and his like kind of musical genius. Something about like the song, I've always thought George Harrison is like an incredible songwriter, he's my favorite Beatle. And I just, I love these songs and I think that they are a little more calming and I do get pretty anxious and I have ADHD so sometimes I get hyper and, and I think this album in particular, it's very calming, it's very like, I can just kind of breathe when it's on. Anna also had some advice for anyone thinking about starting their own record collection check your record like look at it make sure it's not all scratched and that it'll still play you don't need to have a huge collection immediately you know what i mean like if you just start small get a few here and there because i know they're not really they're not cheap but i think take your time to look through um because like sometimes you can find some really good stuff